All right, today I'm going to uh, do a quick video, a tutorial on how to replace a laptop screen. Uh, you can see this one has developed a line in it. Uh, for a short time it would come and go, uh, especially with a little bit of pressure here. Uh, but now it's there for good, so I'm going to swap this screen out. So the process uh, covered in this video, even though this is the Dell E7440, uh, the process I'm going to go through in this uh, video is going to be very similar or the same on many other uh, brands of laptops. So uh, this should get you started if you're having a problem with your screen. All right, let me go ahead and shut it down here real quick, and I'm going to remove the battery. All right, so I've removed the battery, and I have no power going to the laptop, so there's no power going to this at all. Uh, I'm going to use a gift card, a credit card. You could use a driver's license. You can also get uh, tools online that are used to crack open um, uh, computers called spoogers, but uh, this works pretty well. So what you're going to want to do is just gently and slowly work your way around the outside of this bezel. Okay, uh, because you'll be using this piece again. You can feel it when it snaps. Just a little bit of a twist with the uh, card. Okay, there we go. All right, next I'm going to zoom it in a little bit here. Uh, we're going to get a a small Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so on this particular panel, uh, we're looking at a screw here, and a screw here, and a couple down below, and I'm using a number zero Phillips. You could also use uh, one of the little precision um, screwdrivers that you may have kicking around. And you don't want to lose the screws, so set them aside. If you happen to run into any that are varying lengths or style, you might want to group them together so you can keep track of where they go. Okay, so we've got the two down here on the bottom. And of course this is going to vary per uh, laptop brand and manufacturer and make, but uh, typically they're a set of screws, sometimes more than four. This one seems to only have four, and the two bottom ones are different, so I'm going to be sure to put them back. Um, you just kind of look around and actually you could also have another trick is to take the new screen if you've got it right handy and uh, see how many holes there are and where they are. Okay. And I'm just going to gently pull this out like this. Now let me angle the camera down here for you. On the back side here, and they usually do tape these and this one's got tape on it. Um, this is where the connector is here. Um, let me see if I can get a better shot for you. Okay, so here you can see the connector and the uh, tape that I was talking about. I'm just going to take, this is actually a spooger here. I'm just going to take a spooger and get up underneath it there. I'm just going to reuse that tape, but you can actually uh, get used new tape as well. And I'm just going to pull it up loose like this. Okay, there's the panel. Let me grab the new one. And I'm just going to lay a piece of plastic down on the keyboard so we don't scratch the new panel. Lay it down just like the other one came off. Peel back the tape a little bit. And this is just going to push on. And the trick is obviously to make sure that it's on all the way and even. And then it flips down. This one has a little, like a carriage flip. Okay. And again, if you want, you can replace the tape. Okay, just going to go ahead and uh, zoom the camera back out. We're going to put our screws back in, put the bezel on, and we'll be good. And what I'm going to do is just uh, take one of the screws, get it on the screwdriver, 
and we'll just get one started here. Try not to block the shot. There's actually little uh, tabs on here that'll help you get it lined up. So this is one of those jobs that maybe uh, maybe you're afraid to try yourself because uh, you don't know what it entails. Move that light out of the way, brought it so you could see it. But once you see it done, uh, you realize this, there's no rocket science here. Okay, see the other ones right here. So what you want to do is, because it is, you're just talking, talking small screws here into plastic. So what I do is just tighten them down, give them an extra little snug, but you don't want to strip them out for sure. And we have two on the bottom here. Sometimes when you get a screen, it'll also have um, a protective layer over the screen and it's meant to be peeled off. I've seen people replace them and leave them on there. Uh, you're supposed to take them off. Shop around for your screens. You can get a screen usually for a laptop like this for around $50. Uh, Amazon, eBay, LaptopScreens.com is another great place. Uh, the parts people, a lot of good places. All right, so now, all right. Once you have the screen, the uh, screws in, just going to. Uh, you may have a piece of plastic over the top of your screen like this one has, so you want to peel that off, obviously, before you put the bezel on. All right, now we're on to the bezel. And uh, we're just going to kind of put that on in reverse order of the way we took it off. Uh, I'm going to line up the top and the corners. Start up here by the camera. You can really start anywhere. You just start snapping it in. Be careful. You don't want to break your new screen, right? And put pressure behind the lid in this corner here. You kind of have to figure out how the snaps go. These snaps kind of you want to push in on. Um, but they're not all the same on all manufacturers. So... Okay, and the bottom is the same thing. I put a hand in behind it like this so that I can actually apply some pressure. All right, so when you think you have the bezel all in, what I like to do is uh, just work my way around all the way. You might find a spot like that right there that wasn't in all the way. Okay, just make sure that you're not pushing with too much pressure and support it from the back, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put the battery back in it and see if we got it, all right? Let's go ahead and give it a shot here. All right, so the battery's in, let's see what we get here. Okay, this is one of those repairs a lot of people might not attempt because they don't know how easy it really is. So hopefully this video's been helpful. Uh, you can buy the screens for computers like this, you know, again, shop around Amazon, eBay, uh, LaptopScreens.com, that's a great place. Um, this one was around 50 bucks, I think. It's a Dell E7440. But, you know, I've replaced a lot of PC screens and Mac screens for that matter. Um, and you can buy them a lot cheaper uh, through sort of that third party uh, online site. Uh, and then just do it yourself. I mean, uh, this video should get you started. There are a ton of other videos out there. So if you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more of this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button right there for me. I do a lot of different types of things, home repair and improvement, uh, auto repair, ATV repair. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful. If you have a busted laptop screen, don't be afraid to try it. Buy the part, take your time, take it apart and fix it yourself. Save a lot of money. Thanks for watching.